god, it's in here. This is a gas. It kind of reminds me of the silence of the lamps. Ooh, there is a piece of gastropod that was in here. This is a huge gastropod. I would be surprised that inside uh, I probably would end up. Guys, let me tell you a little bit about the story of this place. Hello my friends and welcome back to another fossil hunting episode. Today we are once again near this highway that passes near my house around here. But I am in a different spot. As you can see there is a nice stratification of the rocks over there and the other side of the highway but I cannot go there. But the main reason that I came to this place is because I already investigate the other side of the highway, the other zone over there in the top but this area is pretty much unexplored to me but you can see that in almost every rock that is around here you can see pretty much a little bit of fossils everywhere okay this is not a good example but see this one over here Okay, there's a butterfly here. It kind of reminds me of the silence of the lamps. Ooh. Okay, focus. <laughs> uh, as I was saying, if you look carefully at rocks around here, you can find uh, indicators that there is fossils around. Pretty much every rock has some traces of fossils. I don't know if you are able to see this over here but I can assure you that this is remnants of marine life and once again in here this is a good example of a rock that has plenty of fossils uh, nothing recognizable yet and uh, take a good look at this one okay I said take a good look yet <laughs> uh, so that is one of the reasons that I came here near this there's a lot of beehives around here. I didn't know that, but for me is reassurance. Every time I saw bees, that the future of, man of mankind depends of bees. So guys, let me tell you a little bit about the story of this place around here. Back in the 70s, there was a movement of people that tries to build tried to build houses around here fortunately they never did but there are a few remains and ruins of some houses around here and well the soil uh, we must conclude that the soil was disturbed what in 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 the way that there could be uh, that that could be very difficult to find fossils around here so i was looking at this road over here and i saw some pretty good indicators that there is fossils around if you can see there is there is a piece of gastropod that was in here this is just the first coil so if there is one probably there is more and I guess despite the fact that this were disturbed and they tried to build constructions around here there probably are fossils around so let's get going okay I left my pole over here okay <clears throat> I guess I'm not going to find anything today whatsoever Let me see. There's some gunshots that you hear. We have a, a practice field around, around here. Of it's police practice. Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you seeing this, guys? Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. I'm going to leave you a minute to see if you are seeing the same thing that I am. Whoa! Take a good look at this. Okay, 
uh, <clears throat> let's recap <laughs> I'm in the this road over here that uh, probably hundreds of people pass through here and they try to build houses around there and I guess nobody saw this or they ignore simply ignore so take a good look I'm going to zoom it a little bit are you seeing all right oh my god it's in here this is a gastropod indeed the first spirals are broken but I'm going to put me in this side not to make shadow for you guys to see oh this one is a big one eh. yes very cool I don't know if it is attached to some rock or not oh this is difficult to extract with just one hand okay I believe the second coil it's okay second coil second spiral now this is all covered with moss see now it's taking shape okay ah, I cannot seem to remove this one oh this is not a very good sign this side was pressed against this rock over here so this side is not very round so I'm going to try to push it <laughs> okay uh, here it comes oh see what I was up what I was saying this was let me this was like that and I don't know if it was this rock I believe it's not it wasn't this rock but this side is a little bit cut but oh my god this is a huge gastropod Woohoo! cool <laughs> a gastropod in the middle of the road <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! This one is... It's cool! It only misses the, the tip over here, but I'm pretty pretty happy because I was, I was thinking that well, this was going to be a, an ordinary hike like the ones that I do that I didn't post on the internet but I did manage to find this one over here pretty cool okay let's get going okay guys I am still in this road uh, and a few meters above I found that gastropod and I believe there is something more in here so let's see if I'm right or wrong let's see okay see this over here I believe this is some sort of shell and and I'm right well this one is a bit a bit dwarfed and squashed but it's cool anyways so I guess nobody saw this in this road and there is something round also in here maybe it's nothing or okay I believe it's nothing just my imagination working once you start to see round stuff everywhere okay just my my imagination I don't know okay it's just my imagination there's no mo nothing more around at least in this spot around here I guess okay there is nothing okay guys I managed to find this outcrop of rocks around here and first 
my feeling was that this was all full of dirt and there is nothing around but after some close examination you can see that there is a lot a lot of stuff embedded in this in these rocks around here so I'm just taking this piece around here this it says nothing and there is some some stuff some black stuff that I don't know what it is but you can still see that there is some embedded corals and marine life I believe this this over here could be a gold mine but it needs to be proper proper excavate take a look there is this is not a, a root there's something in here okay this this could be quite interesting so I was talking about that black stuff that I found attached to this rock and you can see I guess this looks like mineral stuff I don't know black quartz pyrite I really don't have any idea whatsoever what this is it shines a lot when when put it in the Sun when I put it in the Sun and I guess I, I will bring that with me for you guys that love minerals maybe you know what this is Maybe this is pretty common, but who knows? I'm taking anyway. Taking with me. So, see, take a look. This, it's all ancient. Okay, and there is, I believe there is, there is more around here. So, guys, here it is, the big revelation of today's hunt. I try to wash it uh, very well with uh, a brush and try to remove as much as I can of the, the dust and debris that were attached to the fossil. Uh, it has some, some spots of uh, black stuff, I believe this is some sort of moss and was uh, in the top of the fossil. This side was relatively easy to, to remove that black stuff but in here it, it, it's very very hard and I'm not uh, and I don't want to scrub um, and I could damage the fossil so I don't want to scrub anymore but you can see pretty pretty well the size of the, f the fossil the size of this gastropod uh, this bit over here I don't know what happened it looks like it was cut I believe it wasn't it was from the erosion or something from from I don't know maybe water I don't know what what it was maybe he, he was in the in the dirt like that and this side was exposed to the erosion well I really don't know so it's looking pretty cool I believe this one is going to my collection if I have room the dark spots that was in here was caused was caused by the moss I believe I don't have the certain of that but it's pretty cool so just one more thing that I want to show you guys is the, the other side of the fossil that I believe it's completely full of crystals I don't know if this is calcite or quartz but I didn't even try to remove this because I could end up uh, breaking this this spiral this large spiral but the fossil is is uh, the entrance of the shell is covered with this matrix over here and I believe if I remove this I would be surprised that inside uh, I probably would end up finding some crystallized stuff like quartz or calcite but I would I want to leave it like that so you guys saw that I, I make some uh, videos of how to clean fossils but sometimes it's better not to clean the fossil because it preserves a lot of the history of the same the other bit that I want to show you is this one over here. So this is not a fossil, this is just a clump of rocks that you already uh, see in the, in the video. 
uh, it has some nice features nice uh, nice organic stuff around here I believe this bit here it's some sort of horn coral just a little bit and well this this is to to look with a magnifying glass or something because it has some pretty micro stuff attached to it so uh, it's kind of that material that uh, that came ashore at the beaches that are clumps of shells this one is not clump of shells but some sort of corals and little little debris of other stuff that I don't know what it is and I don't want to identify it's just for you guys to see that the area is very rich and the area uh, in, the, in the top of that hill is is um, an ancient fossil uh, coral reef I believe so let's get going so guys here we are in my collection of mainly gastropods in these shelves around here this is the new edition so this one's at the top you already saw in the, in the other videos I believe uh, almost every one of these ones except for that pectum shells I believe uh, are from the species Arpagodis incertus and right at the bottom I believe there are a few species just like that I don't know if this is Natica similus because I have a couple of them around here that I found them in the same region this one over here I didn't make a movie when I spot this one over here as you can see it's pretty much huge and this one I don't know if it is the same species but I'm guessing it's not because the this first coil is almost spherical and this one it's more it's it's a little bit uh, more small than the other one so this one I don't really really have the certain I have to try to identify this in the books but the area is very rich this was not found in the same uh, area it was well uh, how can I explain this one was uh, found on the other side of that highway that you saw in the, in the videos but that doesn't matter as much because the area is pretty much the same it's divided by the, the highway so the other side of the highway it's uh, pretty much unexplored by me so maybe one of these days I could find some of that guys over there because these ones in here are huge <coughs> uh, I want to put it inside to, for you guys to see the comparison so I don't know if it is the same species but I guess I, it's not so um, as I was saying, um, be careful when you try to to clean the fossils because this one I make I made a pretty large mistake over here, so I didn't uh, want to do that. And with the Dremel, I end up damage a little bit the fossil in here and here. So it's better sometimes not to clean some important fossils or try to clean because you end up damage the fossil. So. Oh, uh, there's something that I want to show you, that little black stuff that you saw in the video. Ooh, I don't know where I'm going to put this one over here, I have to see. But I need to show you the other so stuff. So guys, this is what I want you to see. I don't know if you remember, this was that black stuff that I found in the, in the fossil. So I'm not sure what this is. Let me see if my camera focus this right I believe this is some sort of mineral but it has some facets uh, in here so I believe this is some sort of mineral now you can see it some sort of mineral it's not very common for me to find this especially in the middle of the, um, the dirt like that I don't know what this is some sort of pyrite some sort of black quartz well, uh, I guess this could be interesting for you, some of you guys, but I really don't know what it is, so let me know. If you know what it is, put, put, please put some message in the comments, and f 
for me to investigate if I can find some more. Sorry. So guys, I hope you liked this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we see you soon in the next episode. Bye.